Our embroidery machines have gotten so smart these days, they can do so many things for us, but one thing they can do is to hoop our project for us. And that's the part that requires the most skill and provides the greatest payback. I really think that hooping it properly is underrated and overlooked. So let's talk about why it is so hard. Well, you've got two hoops. You've got the inner hoop, the outer hoop. You're chasing the outer hoop around. You've got your stabilizer on top. You've got your project on top. You're trying to get it hooped straight, and it's just difficult. So when we start trying to hoop a shirt, it gets even more difficult. I've got to get my hoop inside that shirt. And no, I'm not making this look clumsy on purpose. It's just clumsy. Then I've got to get my stabilizer in there. Make sure that it's over that hoop, that it's straight. And then I've got to get my inner hoop in. And that's probably not where it's supposed to be, but I'm not going to take any more time on this. I think you can see how klutzy and difficult that is. But when you have a hooping station, any hooping aid that can help you speed you along it's perfect. This is the echidna hooping station. This is the smaller one. Let me just show you how quick this is. I've got my hoop in place. It's held with magnets. Then I'm just going to take my little fancy pants and I'm going to um, put some stabilizer in place. This is tear away. I'm just going to use a couple of magnets to hold it in place. Then I'll slide the little pants over. Make sure I've got it position there and then I'll put my push my inner hoop in and that's how easy it is. I'm ready to just take it off, take it to my sh machine and embroider. Doesn't get much simpler than that. So this is the smaller one of the hooping station. I've used hooping stations for a couple of decades now and I've used all kinds. My first one was over seven hundred dollars and all it did was hoop adult sized shirts. And worse than that, it only worked with one machine. This one, because it uses magnets, you can work with any hoop anywhere on the board. You're not limited to little peg holes. You don't have to be screwing little things in. The magnets just snap in place. It's so easy. So they are dual sided. Let me flip this one over so you can see. They're quite heavy. You can see they don't even slide on my table. They kind of stick actually. If I turn this one over, you can see that I have a nice sleeve board here for doing smaller items cuffs, collars, that sort of thing. Really, really nice. So you can do shirts on this one, but first let me show how, how easy it is to do shirts on this one. You can see that I've got a round hoop here, and I just have these sitting here. They're not even sliding off. It's also great for working with your large hoops because we have some marks here, some grooves to help you line up your hoop and work with the really large pieces. Now, you don't even have to be using shirts. You might be working on, I don't know, a blanket or something, or towels. And it helps you get those things straight and it keeps your hoop aligned. So let's now move to our smaller hoop. And I've got to get it out of my shirt. And I have some um, those little sticky note flags here. I think I've dropped them on the floor. But I'm just going, I've placed those so that I know where to position my hoop. And I'll just use a couple magnets to hold it in place. This one has these nice brackets that make it easy to secure. And you just put a couple around. Take your stabilizer, once again cut away, because we are working on a knit. I think I'm going to move that one. And you can use the magnets to hold your stabilizer in place. And then I'll just take my shirt. This is a women's small shirt, my shirt. And if it was much smaller, I would probably shift to the other side and use the youth side. And you can see how easy I just slid that on. And because I've already aligned this, I can just press my inner hoop in and I'm ready to go. And <laughs> That's really how easy it is to use. So imagine that I'm doing six shirts. I need new corporate Lindy G embroidery logo shirts. All I have to do is when I get done with this shirt, I come and I rehoop and I just put it in position because I already have it marked. And it's so much more efficient and accurate. Now, can you hoop shirts over here? Absolutely. So let's take this hoop off. 
We'll move it over here. And use the magnets to hold it in place. And you can still hoop. I'm just going to slide it on without the stabilizer so you can see what we're doing here. And I would probably mark it. So I would mark my shirt so that I knew that I had it in the right place. But you can see how nicely this shirt drapes and I have a nice smooth area to work with and hoop where I'm not catching other parts of my shirt in my garment. I think you can see how easy this is to use and how much more efficient you're going to be using a hooping station. The Kidna hooping station is new. It's easy to use and extra sturdy, double-sided, easy to clean. And I think you'll find that once you start using it, you'll wonder how you ever got along without it. So check our other videos to see how to assemble it and how to hoop other things. Thanks for watching.